Okay, select Pixel Persona. The image is loaded. Now select, not flood selection, but select sampled color. There we go. And you can see now I've just tapped in the center there to make sure it's got the right one. Then you go up to the tick at the top. There we go, that's selected OK. Go back to there. Now, what's wrong with this image? Go to there, cut, and there's your background. Deselect, but you can see the image is locked. What we have there, so let's duplicate that. Up the top, duplicate, and there's our duplicated background with transparent and it's editable so you can eagerly easily use that too easy you want me to do that again open from photos this is where the photo is it's a picture frame easy now on an ordinary photo you've got to make sure that's rasterized so select that one rasterized i didn't do that before but it doesn't matter this one's not locked which is good so Let's go to Pixel Persona, Pixel Persona. Select that one there. Select Sample Color. Goes all funny like that. Now up the top there, there's a tick. See a tick and a cross right at the top. There we go. There. Now you're still in Pixel Persona. Go to there, go to Cut, and the background's gone. Now, you don't want all the crawling ants, so down the bottom left-hand side, press the X. And there's our no background picture frame. Very good. Go back. There it is. Save as. P-I-C-T-U-R-E. F-R-A-M-E, picture frame, save, and of course we'll save it in Affinity Designer, for some reason it says move there, don't know why, there's our picture frame, how easy is that? Thanks for watching.